Hey everybody, this is John Twalbus from PolicyViz.com doing a little PowerPoint tutorial this time. Even though it's in the Excel tutorial playlist here on my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, I thought I would drop this in because I finally figured out how to make a good looking bracket in PowerPoint. Now, if you've ever used a bracket in PowerPoint or Excel or Word and you use the de default shape one, I'm gonna drop it in here and I'll make it a little bit thicker so you can see. I'm just gonna go to this weight tab here and I'll, I'll just make this four and a half points so you can see it. I don't love this, right? It's got this weird curve on it. I just want kind of like a straight half rectangle. And I've never been able to figure out how to sort of cut a rectangle or a box in half in PowerPoint just to get that sort of edge. And the way I've always done it is to draw lines. And also I'll draw a line like this. And again, I'll make this bigger so you can see it. I got four and a half. And then I'll, you know, I'll make another one, just duplicate it. And then I'll rotate it. And then, okay, I'll make that one shorter and I'll duplicate that again. And then what I'll do is I'll just align these together and I have my quick access toolbar set up up here. So, you know, I've talked about this before in other videos. So I'll align that one over there and then I'll align, I'll just move this over here and I'll align this to the top and over to the left and there I'm kind of done and then I can group it and I'm done. But the thing is, there's this weird little like edge here, right? Because where it's aligning is really the center of the line. So you get this like little little missing chip here in the corners. And I was always thought, well, okay, it's a shape, so why don't I just merge the shapes? But you can't merge lines in PowerPoint. So I finally sort of like sat down and thought about this. What if we did this with rectangles? And actually, because we can merge rectangles in PowerPoint, this works really well. So I'm gonna draw just a, just a, uh, um, just a rectangle here. And I'm gonna make the width really small. I'll make it like 0.05. And I'm gonna get rid of the border and I'll just leave the line. And so now this is like a really thin rectangle. Th this might be an obvious tutorial to people, but like I just figured this out. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna duplicate that. I'm gonna rotate it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna make it a lot shorter. So this one was 0.5. Let's make this one 0.5. Boom, there we go, I'll duplicate that one. And now I'm gonna do the same alignment exercise. Align to the bottom, align to the left, align to the top, align to the left. Now those are all set together. And now what I could do, actually if I wanted, is I could grab them, go to shape format and merge them together so that they're all one shape. Boom, I can move that around. And I don't have the weird missing chip as I do in the second one. And I don't have the weird curvature in the right one. So that is an easy way to make a nice looking bracket in Excel or in PowerPoint or any Microsoft tool and you can move them around like that and you can play with them and you can change the width, you can change the color, anything that you'd like to do with your brackets. So just a quick little PowerPoint tutorial. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel to learn more about Excel, PowerPoint, and everything you need to do a better job communicating your data.